Right, a particle moves along the curve y equals to square root of 17 plus x cubed. Well, I have no idea what that curve looks like, but uh, I, 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 I guess it's something like square root of 17 is slightly more than 4. So let's just say this is square root of 17. And it, it's increasing as x, x increases, so it's kind of like in that way. And the 4 comma 9, so at, at 4 comma, let's say this is 4 and that's 9, which is actually not very drawn to scale, but let's say this point is 4 comma 9. And at 4 comma 9, we know that the rate of change of the y coordinate is 6 centimeters per second. And the question is, how fast is the x coordinate of the point increasing at that instant? Right. So when you read this question, what, what words should you focus on first? I talked about this word, rate, right? <coughs> what else? <coughs> Fast. 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 Because these mean what? Derivatives. Derivatives. Okay. And then this question doesn't have when, but but at that instant. So that that's like when. When it's at this point, four point nine. Okay. <coughs> so once you have that, then you can convert the question in the form of the derivative. Okay. First y coordinate is increasing at a rate of 6 centimeters per second. How do you write that? <coughs> it's the rate means derivative, but we, we derivative of what? So you write dy dt, right? Equal to 6. And that, that's, what else can you write? That, that's the only way you can write down y coordinate is increasing at 6 centimeters per second, right? Okay, how fast is the x coordinate of the point increasing at that instant. So uh, this is the question uh, you're trying to ask. How fast is what? X is increasing, dx dt is increasing at what instant? When x comma y is at 4 comma 9. See, if you can write these, then you're almost done, okay? So this is a given one. You're trying to find the rate of change of another one at some, some point, right? And the only thing you need is a relationship between x and y. If you know the relationship between x and y, you can differentiate it so that you can get a relationship between their derivatives and then plug in the points and you're done. All right, what's the relationship between y and x? It's this one, right? That's, that's the relationship. Whenever you have a related rates question, you need a relationship between two variables. So that, that's the relationship. You would say uh, the, the steps of solving a related rates question is first, identify the derivatives, right? And second, figure out when to use this, this bar. So, uh, just find out the question. In, in the question, there's always this at some point or when something is something. And that always leads to a bar with some given condition. And then once you have them set up, now pay attention to the variables that you're trying to find and find the relationship between them. This is an easy question because the relationship is just readily given to us. Now, a slightly harder question will be where you have to use some kind of geometry to find uh, the relationship yourself. So that will be hard. This is an easier one. Okay. All right, so let's try to differentiate this. Um, so the way you should do this is you differentiate this left side to get dy dt, and if you differentiate the right side, you get the derivative of this times dx dt, because x is a function of t, right? Uh, but let me take a slight, a slight shortcut because I, I kind of don't like 
having to differentiate the uh, square root. So I'm going to square both sides. So I get y squared equals to 17 plus x cubed. Right? If I square this, I get y squared. If I square this, the square root goes away. So I get that. And then I, I decide to differentiate both sides. What do you get if you differentiate y squared? 2y and then dy dt. Remember, you're trying to differentiate both sides by t, and x and y are both functions of t, so you have to use the chain rule. If you differentiate 17, you get 0. zero. If you differentiate x cubed, you get 3x. 3x squared times dx dt. Right. And that's about it. Now uh, you just plug in these things, and you get your answer. So, Let's see, y is 9, so 2 times 9 times dy dt is 6, 3 times x is 4, 4 squared, dx dt is the only thing that's not known. Okay, uh, so let's see, 16 times 3 is 48, so this is 48 if I divide both sides. Uh, what is that? That's uh, 108. 108 divided by 48 is your dx dt. And if you simplify, the answer will be answer will be uh, they both they're both divisible by 12, so it's 9 over 4. It's uh, 9 over 4, or in decimals, this is uh, 2.25 centimeters per second. Okay? Since the, the unit for x should be the same as unit for y, and, and, and also top, uh, dx dt should be, have the same unit as dy dt, and dy dt is measured in centimeters per second, you should, you should use the same unit. Yes? In most cases, we're pulling out the y and getting dy dt, I understand. <coughs> In this case, you have to pull out the x and differentiate that dx dt. Is that because you need uh, So uh, you're, you're, you're asking the question because we just did the implicit differentiation where we differentiated both sides by x. If you differentiate both sides by x, then you would do 2y y prime equals to 3x squared. That's which, it. Which is pretty much just dy dt. That's y prime. No, no, no. y prime is dy dx in that context. In that context. Yeah, in that context, uh, you would do 2y dy dx equals to 3x squared, which is true. Yeah. But here, uh, over there, y is a function of x, and x is just x. And you're trying to differentiate both sides by x. <coughs> here, x and y are both changing with respect to this time t. So they're both function of t. And we're differentiating with respect to t, not x. Right. Okay. If we differentiate both sides by x, then you would get 2y, y prime goes 3x squared. Okay. But if you differentiate by t, then you would get both dy dt and dx dt. 